Medicalist 4 is the latest learning software by gospelmusicians.com. In this video, we will look at a detailed overview of all of its features. Now, there are three different versions of Mediculous. You have the free version, which allows you to receive MIDI and load LMS and LMB files, the player version, which adds support for all media files, and the pro version, which unlocks every feature Mediculous has to offer. Mediculous is also available for iPad as well. So when you first launch Mediculous, up top here, you have the header menu. First, let's head to the settings. And you want to make sure under the MIDI tab that your source is selected. And under the output tab, your device has been selected for playback. To the right of that, we have our master volume. And moving left, we have an instruments tab. Mediculous 4 now gives you a list of different instrument displays and layouts for MIDI, including organ, guitar, bass, and drums. You also can choose between the real keys and the vector keys option for your key bit. The vector keys is a real nice option for resizing the key bit and keeping the clarity of the keys. I'll show you the difference between the two. Next to that, we have the views tab, which only lists options when we have a video or LMB file. We'll talk about that a little bit later on. And to the very far left here, we have a shopping cart, which will take us to the LMS library at gospelmusicians.com. Next, we have the MIDI channel section. The MIDI channel section gives you options for the MIDI files you load into Mediculous 4. So up top, we have a mute solo option. You have the instrument color tab, which allows you to change the color of the key bed. You have a volume slider and a sound select wrench. Under here, we can use the GM Sound Source library and its options for playback, or we can load one of our own plugins, and we'll talk about that here in a second. Mediculous 4 also has a brand new MIDI in section in which you can specifically set your own playback device. So let's talk about using your own plugins. If you click this wrench again, you want to look for scan new plugins, in which in my case, I've already done so, and it's showing 17 available. Now you only have to do this once unless you purchase a new plugin, but should something go wrong, you can rescan all plugins or go to the show plugin manager, which now shows the manufacturer, the plugin name, as well as the compatibility with Mediculous 4. So I'm going to load one of my own plugins. I'm going to use Keyscape. Next, we'll cover the file browser and the transport control section. So up here in this drop-down arrow, this takes us to the file browser inside of Mediculous 4. Now with Mediculous 4, you can upload MIDI, a wide range of audio files, as well as LMS and LMV files. So I'm going to choose this MIDI file, WWCC. Below here, we have a key, mode, tempo, and key signature section. Now keep in mind, not all audio and MIDI files are going to have this information embedded. Below there, we have a panic button, which will remove any sticking MIDI notes. And we also have a time section area. So let's play back this MIDI file. Now, if I didn't know the key center of this audio, I could do this manually in this section. If I click on the key or the blue shaded area, it now changes to a zero and I can manually change the pitch. And the same thing for the tempo. I can now manually adjust the tempo of the file. Down here below, we have a key split function in which if I click this, I can now separate the key bit into two separate sections. And the key split point is based upon the note you choose. I can also choose a different color for the left and right split points.
as well as shift the octaves during playback. Down here at the bottom, we have our transport control section. Now in the center, we have our standard play, stop, fast forward options. To the far right, we can also adjust the pitch and speed of any file. To the far left, we have our punch in, punch out options which will create a loop point. And if we hit the sync button, it will repeat the loop point as well. So now I have a highlighted loop point in which I can now see displayed in my file browser. If I go up top to the file browser section, under that track name to the right, I've established a loop point. I can also delete this at any time. Next, let's talk about LMV files. So here I have a LMV file loaded up, and this is where the views tab comes into play. Watch how the layout of Mediculous changes as I go through the different types of views. The pro version of Mediculous 4 gives us a lot of different options to customize the keybed, score, and chord view. If I right click on any of these, I can detach them. I can rearrange them or resize them. If I right click here down at the bottom of the key bed, I can choose always on top. And whenever I move the key bed, it will place the key bed over top of the other options. I can also choose to pin it in a certain location. I can go down here and show the C markers at the bottom of the key bed, as well as the pitch mod wheel. I can also show the foot pedals and change the color of the sustain pedal. I can also change the color of the playback keys. There's also a sustain hold feature, which will continue to show the notes played on the key bed as long as the pedal is held. Up top here in the score and chord view, I can also change the foreground and background colors Now both of them change at the same time, but if I right click and uncheck same colors as chords, I can change them independently. Also, if you head up top into the preference section, under my settings, I can choose to have the score display key signature, sharps, or flats. I can also locate a certain playlist or media file or create my own LMS or LMV file by loading in the audio and MIDI file. 